Yeah, I booked and scheduled the CCIE routing and switching exam. I'm scared. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. Yeah, I scheduled the CCIE written exam. And uh, you may be wondering, well, what is that? What is the CCIE? What's pretty much as high as you can go uh, in the Cisco certification world? Which means you're pretty much a boss. You get a special number you're assigned. I mean, if you look at the levels, you got CSINT, which is the junior level, CCNA, the associate, the associate level. Th those are difficult. They're hard to get. You go higher, you got CCMP, which is three to four test. And then you go even higher to the CCIE, which is like the peak, the, the summit. Climbing Mount Everest. Now, I do want to say, I'm taking the CCIE written exam. To get the CCIE, you have to pass two exams. The written and then the lab. Uh, the lab is like crazy hard, has a 90% fail rate on the first attempt. So I'm not doing that. I'm just doing the written exam. Not to put it down, though, it's going to be extremely difficult. Now, why, Chuck? Why are you doing that? That's probably a question you're asking me because I have told many people on multiple occasions I will never go for the CCIE because I don't have a big enough why. Um, and it takes a lot of time. I, I don't have the time right now. Of course, that's an excuse. It's not good to have that excuse. But I'm about to have four kids. <laughs> Anyways, honestly, the main reason is that I am going to Cisco Live, a huge Cisco conference, and part of the package is that you get a uh, free exam voucher to take any certification test, barring the CCIE lab. And I'm not studying for anything particular right now, so I'm just going to, hey, you know what the heck? Take the CCIE routing switching written exam. Am I going to actually study for the CCIE and try to pass it? Probably a big question people have. I don't know. Do you think I should? Let me know below. I, I'm, I'm torn. I'm going to see how the exam is. I just want to feel it out. And yes, I'm going to study for it up until uh, when I have to take it, which... Let's see, I forget when it is, actually. Okay, so I'm taking it June 13th uh, in the morning. So that gives me a couple weeks like three weeks or so. So not a lot of time to study for such a huge exam, but I'm gonna give it a go. I mean, I love routing and switching. It is so stinking fun, as many of you know. If you don't know that, then uh, look at the resources below and start studying right now. Sign up for CBT Nuggets, get some labs from Boson or jump in a packet tracer. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna go for it. Just a, a good old college try to see how it how it feels and what it's like and the depth and if I actually want to go down that path. Now, what am I going to use to study? Well, I don't know. I had to ask Twitter. I don't know. I mean, I know if I had a lot of time, I could, you know, pick the best resources and just have a really good study plan. But I'm like, for this short amount of time, what do I use to study? So I'm resorting to uh, Mr. Narbic. He's a CCIE guru guy, and he um, actually wrote a bunch of CCIE books. And actually, I have an interview with him on Monday. Uh, to uh, talk about the CCIE and figure out how I'm going to pass this written exam. So I'll be talking with him, getting the uh, inside scoop, and trying to figure out how to do this. I'm also uh, reading his book. This guy right here, CCIE Routing and Switching Version 5.1 Foundations, Bridging the Gap Between CCMP and CCIE. Really what I need. And then I may jump into his Routing and Switching Official Cert Guide Library. Uh, also by him and Peter Paluk, Paluch. Yes, yeah, so this will be, be my thing. I'm going to try and do the best I can and I'll let you know what it's like. I will also be using Boson XSIM or Exam Sim, uh, their CCIE practice, practice exam. I can never say practice exam, it like, drives me crazy. Uh, so I'll be using that to uh, prep for the exam as well. So thank you Boson for giving that to me. If you wanna check any of their exams out, link below, they are incredible. Also, they have the most amazing network simulator. It's, it's similar to Packet Tracer. I just have to give a shout out because they, they've helped me so much. Um, and they helped me pass my CCMP troubleshoot, T-shoot exam. They have the best network simulator. They give you labs to go through. They grade your labs. They give great explanations. So good for the CCNA to CCMP level. Just amazing. So please check them out below. Now, beyond that, some really exciting stuff coming down the pipe here. So starting... Uh, let's see, when is it? I got, my calendar's so crazy right now. Starting Sunday, June 2nd, I'm going to be traveling for two weeks. The first week, I'll be at CBT Nuggets headquarters hanging out with all the amazing trainers. Everybody who creates content at CBT Nuggets, all the trainers you know and love, I'll be hanging out with them. Uh, we'll be doing some cool stuff, and I'm going to be posting content about this experience. So please follow me around on that. So that's going to be in Oregon, and then I'm flying directly from Oregon 
to San Diego to go to Cisco Live, and I'll be there hanging out. If you're going, please find me. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. So I'll be posting content here about Cisco Live, hanging out with David Bombo and all the rest of the amazing people. Um, that are Cisco geeks like us. So it's oh, it's going to be amazing. So the next two weeks, or starting June 2nd, for two weeks, I'm going to be posting just a ton of stuff here about all the adventures I'm having. So I hope you enjoy that kind of stuff. We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. <laughs> and as of this recording, I'm about 6,000 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subscribers, which... <laughs> It's amazing. Like I remember when I celebrated my first 1,000 subscribers, and I was ecstatic. I was on top of the world. I was like, this is amazing. And now to be at this point, I don't even know. It's amazing. It's like, so just thank you, every one of you who subscribed, who have uh, watched and liked and commented and, and, and followed me on Twitter and Instagram and all this. Like, Just thank you so much. You guys, like, like I said in my, my why video, you guys are my why. I would have stopped doing this a long time ago. But hearing your stories, um, seeing the community that you've built from the Facebook group, which has like 14,000 members in it now, and everybody trying to get their CCNA, and I'm hearing all your stories. I mean, it's amazing. So thank you to everyone. And um, I'll see if I can do something cool for uh, reaching 100,000. I might reach 100,000 while I'm at Cisco Live. So I could do something cool there. I don't know yet. So I'll keep you, uh, keep you updated. And if you're going to Cisco Live, I'm bringing something with me. I got about 100 of these. So if you are at Cisco Live, come find me and I'll, I'll give you a sticker. So it should be fun. Well guys, that's about it. Just wanna give you a quick update on why I am doing the CCIE. I posted about it on Twitter and Instagram and, and LinkedIn and every place that I have socials. I posted about it and uh, I'm crazy for doing it, I know. Uh, but it's a free exam. It's, a, it's not like a huge investment, but I'm, I am testing it out. And again, let me know if you want me to go down that full path. It's going to be a huge journey if I do it, a huge time suck. And uh, I've got to have a pretty big why. So I'm searching for the why. If the why is that it'll help you guys, maybe that's big enough. So let me know. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll try to keep you updated on that, those study sessions and my frustrations with going for such a big certification and, and being overwhelmed. And then again, starting June 2nd, get ready. It's going to be so cool. Well, gosh. That's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.